right, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you a little fix here for the Inspire. So everybody knows that watches my channel knows I just picked up this Inspire 1 uh, V2. Okay, so, you know, I did the unbox. Well, that's really a whole unboxing. I took it out of the box and showed it, you know. Um, but the uh, the battery was no good. The battery was dead, completely dead. I mean, gonzo. Wouldn't charge. I put it on the charger for two hours. It never did not. It never did anything. So, that wasn't unexpected. Trust me. When you buy something that's been sitting in a box for five years, you got to realize, okay, this. I knew buying this thing, this battery might not be any good. So, I actually made a contingency plan when I bought that. I had actually bought another battery, which isn't here yet, but it probably will be here tomorrow or whatever. But um, I knew that was a possibility. So I looked online and I found this one video from this guy who was able to get it to work. But what he did, he kind of messed up where he kind of overdid it. And he actually ran the voltage up to, I ruined his battery, but his, his idea was good. He just overdid it. He just overcharged the battery and ruined it. So I'm going to go down here on the table and show you the, the procedure of how to get this to work. If you get this same situation, if you buy one of these Inspires that's been sitting in, and this thing is new, it's not refurbished, it's brand new. It may say refurbished on there, this thing's never been out of this box, believe me. Um, if you happen to get one like this or you buy a battery and it does what this one did, I'm going to show you how to uh, bypass the logic board and, and get it to charge. Okay, as you uh, you can't see here, but you'll see that it's fully charged now. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you me doing it because it's already done. I did it. Okay, oh, this worked, but I'm going to take you through step by step how to make this happen. So, um, without further ado, let's do it. All right, guys, <clears throat> what you're going to need to uh, to do this is a set of alligator clips like this. You might want to get the insulated ones. I didn't need it because I was real careful. <clears throat> You're going to need your charger right here. You're going to need a multimeter. And you're going to need the battery for the Inspire. Okay, so now you're going to see my battery now is fully charged. Now, the first thing you got to do is get it off, get the cover off. And it's very easy. All you need to, and this is all I did right here. I'm going to show you what I used and how I did it. You see this clips right here. See those holes? Those holes fit right over those little parts right there. See those little things right there? And they fit right inside there on both sides right there also. We put the light right on there so you'll see them little ridges. Ridge there and ridge there. And this thing fits and snaps right over top of them ridges. All you have to do is wedge a screwdriver right in there and twist it a little bit, a little bit on that side. Go over to that side, go in there, and then pull up on the one side while you're doing on this side, and it'll just pop right off. It's real simple. Okay, so here's the whole key to this whole deal. There's the logic board right there. That's what discharges your battery, and that, that's the brains. The intelligent battery, that's the brains. That's the intelligence right there. So what you need to do to kickstart this thing is you need to bypass that. You need to override the logic board. So when I got this battery, when I pressed this button right here, only one light flashed on the bottom real fast. So I stuck it on the charger and I went off to work. And I was working for a couple hours. I popped back in the apartment, went over to the where it was charging, thinking it was going to be like three quarters charged. And it was uh, doing nothing but still flashing on the first one. So that's when I went and looked at the video, figured out what I needed to do. 
went and bought the clips and figured it out. So what you got to do is take off the top like this. Now what I think is happening here is that it's went down so low below the normal discharge that the logic board would do. Like if you just would charge this full and then I didn't use it for 10 days or two weeks, it'll discharge down to like 50% or whatever. Then you have to charge it back up to go fly. But since it sat for five years in that box, it discharged so far past the auto discharge that I don't think, I think the logic board just thinks the battery's no good. That's what I, that's my theory. Who knows if the theory's any good or not, but that's my theory. So to get this to get a little bit of juice in there, see the logic board thinks this thing is completely dead, so it actually won't put any power into the battery. It won't, you can plug this charger in, nothing's going in here. Because the logic board's not letting it any charge go into it. So what you have to do is you have to remove the cable that's right here. And there's a little piece of a little yellow piece of tape that's over this cable. And you just take the piece of tape off and then get your fingernail in there and wiggle that thing back and forth. Okay, you just pull it out of there. It'll come out. You just gotta work it a little bit. From side to side, pull on this side, pull back on this side, pull on this side, and it'll wiggle back and forth and get out. Okay, so now once you've got this out, you're going to be able to jump start this battery. Okay, now when I did this, mine was sitting only at 18 volts the first time. It won't let you charge it until you get it to 21 volts. The charger won't work until, unless there's at least 21 volts in this battery. So we're going to test it right now. No, oh, let me see. You can see it here now. I'll put that down there. Now there is 26.7 volts in the battery. But when I started this project, when I tested it, there was only 18 volts in the battery. Well, the charger won't charge it if there's only 18 volts in the battery. It just keeps flashing that one light over and over. So what you have to do is leave this, leave that cable undone. And you can't just plug the battery charger in and think it's going to charge. It won't work unless, unless this plugs in here. So don't just think you can just plug the, take this off, plug the battery in, the battery charger in and it's going to charge. It's not going to do anything. You have to do it this way. This is the only way to wake it up. Now, on your battery charger, this first lead coming off the wire here is the hot. So you want to take one of the alligator clips, put it on there, on that lead, And then stick the other end on the battery right there. So you would, let me make sure it's on there. I'm not going to touch in the other one. I don't want to short out my own battery like a dodo. Okay, so you would do that. You would put that on there. Now it's a little tricky getting it to clamp on there. Okay, so there it is. And now the black one is the same thing. You just hook the black wire up to the other cable. And make sure they don't touch. That's why I said to get the, the coated ones. But like I said, I was super careful doing this. So I didn't need to do that. So you put the black one on there. 
and you hook that one up to it. Whoops, excuse me, I bumped that damn tripod. Okay, good. <laughs> they cut that. I had to knock the tripod over. Anyway, so this is already charged, so I don't need to make the connection here. So you would take the black one and you would clip it onto here. Okay, so after you get that set, and you got the red one on here, and the black one on here, you plug in the cord into the charger right here. Now immediately after you do that, you have to grab your multimeter and drop it and put it on there on your leads. I'm going to take this off here real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. So once you have this one on and this one on, you immediately get the multimeter and hold it onto the battery with the, the alligator clips on there. So you would hold that there and hold that there. When that gets to 21 volts, stop the power. Pull the alligator clip off of the battery, off the hot side immediately when it gets to 21 volts. Do not let it run up more than 21 volts. If you have this single light flash condition, you're probably down at around 15 to 18 volts. So you're going to need to do this to jump start the battery. Now what the guy did in the other YouTube video, he left that on there for a long time and he ran it up to 29 volts and it killed the battery. So once this gets to 26 volts, or 21 volts, excuse me, once this gets to 21 volts, stop it charging. Then plug your cable back in. There it goes. Okay, so once you get the cable in there, you plug it, the, you can plug the charger back in and let it rip. So... There you go. Mine's still fully charged. And that's it. But you have to stop it once it gets to 21 volts. If you And, and let, let me tell you how long it took for mine to get to the 21 volts. About 30 seconds. So after I put the leads on here and here and I plugged the charger in and started juicing these two with the juice it took about 30 seconds for it to go from 18 volts to 21 volts that didn't take long believe me it was about 30 seconds maybe 45 at the absolute top because as soon as i had them put the the meter on there it was just about done as soon as i got that stuff down picked the gauges up and slapped them on there it was just about done so yeah it happens really quick, so just you got to just be real careful. But then once you get it, you get it, man. You got it. You're ready to go. Inspire, here we come. Tomorrow, I'm flying it. All right, guys. I hope this helps somebody. I made it as slow as I could. and as I mean, I'd love to have done it from the beginning when I was actually doing it, but I didn't know it was even going to work. So I didn't even record when I was doing it. So, I mean, that's just the way it goes. But uh, I think I explained it pretty good, so it shouldn't be uh, that difficult. Just don't overcharge it, that's all. As long as you don't do that, it's almost impossible to mess up anything. Like I said, just don't overcharge it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later, man. Bye.